All right, here's your reminder. Mother's Day is Sunday. Time's running out. Are you thinking of getting her flowers or plants, maybe? Well, Fox 2 meteorologist Angela Huddy is live the Shaw Nature Reserve tonight, where garden experts hope that you will think local for mom's yard. Angela? Yeah, Mandy and Vic, take a look at these beautiful native plants and flowers. Now, whether you have a balcony garden or even acres of land, planting native plants in your landscape can make a big difference. We've been gardening so long with non-native plants, you know, the familiar things like daylilies and hostas and azaleas and things like that. Um, it's a great time to add a few more native plants to the garden. The Whitmire Wildflower Garden at Shaw Nature Reserve is a great showcase of all things native plants. Our practice is to go into nature to collect seeds and bring those wild seeds back to propagate in our greenhouse. Natural landscaping is beautiful, colorful, and furnishes food and cover for butterflies, bees, and birds. The big pollinator in the garden are the bees because they've got hairy legs and hairy bodies, and they've got these pouches on their legs that they literally pack pollen into and bring it back to the nest. Gift mom five or six plants that will bloom throughout the spring and summer and into the fall. Um, start in spring with something like wild geranium, um, and then go into early summer with um, uh, some of the indigos, uh, blue indigo, um, yellow indigo. Midsummer, uh, the black eyed Susans are really great. Um, orange coneflower is a type of black eyed Susan. Scott says not to forget the goldenrod. Its pollen falls to the ground and won't affect allergies. And finally, think about aromatic aster, um, which is the last thing to bloom in the garden. You may even get a snack out of the flower garden. Take a look at this Virginia spiderwort. I wouldn't do this any other time of the year, but in spring, the foliage is very tender. And it makes a nice addition to a salad. <laughs> yes, it does. It is very tender and after a long day of work, kind of tasty out here too. Take a look. This is a red buckeye. These are great for hummingbirds. If you'd like to learn a lot more, maybe mom does, you can come out to their native plant school. They offer it year round on Zoom. We'll have a link to where you can sign up for those classes with this story on our website, fox2now.com. Reporting live in Gray Summit, Missouri at the Shaw Nature Reserve, I'm meteorologist Angela Huddy, Fox 2 News.